Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from Route 66. Had the pleasure of staying at the wonderful Subai Motel here in Seligman, Arizona. We're on day three of our Route 66 trek, and again, no particular game plan, just heading along the road and documenting, seeing the cool things along the side. Uh, just want to let you know, I do have, I did have some special commemorative shirts, t-shirts made for this trip if you want to go over to Spread Shirt. Um, also keep in mind if you like other people on YouTube, you can get their shirts as well and just pay one shipping price such as this wonderful vintage Adam the Woo t-shirt. Adam's off. Adam's off doing his own thing somewhere. But um, we're gonna have a good time today. Follow me. Look at this insane bright little bug and who is driving? Oh, just a orange severed head on a stick. Is that gold dust? And who do we have here? It's just like a drunken, passed out mannequin in the weeds. Ah! The theme here in Seligman appears to be antique cars with super creepy drivers. Here outside of the copper cart is this notorious hippie van that people appear to love signing and adding their stickers to. In fact, I think I'm gonna leave my own little mark right here on the top. I got a cute little jackalope right there. Now this legitimately may be one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. The rusty bolt. Got a cowboy in that window and an Indian in that one. They've got this fine lady bungee to a pole, I guess, so no one steals her and and, and takes her home. Check out this classical car being ridden by these super spooky skeletons. Please don't ride me. Ah, oh, come on. Be a sport. Juan's Garden? Have you ever looked at something and had no idea what you were looking at? That smells like roses. I do need to get my cesspool of service. The toilet appears to be clogged. Malts, tacos, burritos, and dead chicken? It's actually a good thing that they specify this as a dead chicken. I hate when I order a chicken sandwich and they give me a thrashing live rooster hissing and scratching at me on a bun. Now, I've come across a lot of Route 66 murals on this trip already. But uh, I like this one a lot. It's got the actual roadside attractions painted on it with the Santa Monica Pier, the Cadillac Ranch, the Tulsa Whale. It's this sign right here, the arm would like spin to catch your attention as you drove by. And then for no reason, there's a little white squirrel eating a snake. Now have you guys heard that fan theory, that Pixar fan theory, where Toy Story is about when inanimate objects gain sentience, then Wall-E shows humanity's downfall, and then Cars shows how the inanimate objects rose up and took over the world. This Grand Canyon Coffee Company, they serve breakfast all day, and they even have an opium den. Hey, Pappy, you seen Zoltar? I've been looking all over for him. This place boasts that they have the world's largest Steel Route 66 sign. Now, despite the fact that I've seen 8 billion 66 signs over the last couple days, I, I gotta see more. All right, the world's largest Steel Route 66 sign. It's, it's pretty big, pretty, pretty big.
for a fair price, I'll share some with you. Pappy, what's with your glowing radioactive kryptonite right there? Let's check out the town jail. And who do we have here? We have some no good hooligan outlaws. Guy. Never trust a man with half a mustache. Oh, it's like some sort of porcupine or beaver in the window. That is weird. I really wanted to try this, but alas, it is closed. There's a Route 66 zip line that will actually take you over top Route 66 and then drop you back down across. The gentleman over there said, unfortunately, it's too windy to zip line across Route 66. It is, it is very, very, woo. It is windy. It's windy, windy, very windy. Who wants the ready? Look at this. This Buick here, we have a really sketchy Elvis. Well, who do we have here? Mr. Bunyan, I presume. Interesting to see a Paul Bunyan here on Route 66. I think of him more as a cold weather folk hero. I didn't expect to see him here in Flagstaff, Arizona. My favorite part of this mural is this jackalope right here. And remember, if you donate at least $3 on Patreon, I will send you postcards once a month from my road trips. I already got quite a stack going. Oh, Diablo Canyon number two. Why can't you be more like Diablo Canyon number one? Now there it is, the legendary Apache Death Cave, where women and children Apache were slaughtered by white men. I don't know the bridge to get down there is awfully rickety and scary, but I don't know. Let's see if we can find someone to go down there for us. stopped off here before but there is no Route 66 trip complete without stopping at the Jackrabbit Trading Post. And where is it? Here! Here it is. And here we go. The Jackrabbit himself. I actually have a collection of rabbits. Inside, lots of goat, not a rabbit. And right here, we have a jackalope. And there's Jesus. But I guess that kind of ties in with the rabbit thing, you know, Easter and all. Uh oh, we have some baby rattlers in here. We're gonna open slowly. <gasps> Terrifying. All right, picked up some jackrabbit themed swag in there. Got this cool pennant for the bunker. I've got a can of Jack Rabbit milk. Let me see what this says. It says a balanced diet for unbalanced people, rich in vitamins J, U, M, and P. Richer in vitamin P than beer or watermelons. Jack Rabbit milk. A fast action diet for lagging, dragging salesmen, truck drivers, fishermen, hunters, golfers, bowlers, and talkative females. Keep away from stenos, office girls, beauty operators, and waitresses. 
I don't know what any of that even means. And then just for the heck of it, I got something called an ocarina. Now here's what we all came for. The world's largest petrified tree. And I'm not sure, but that might be the second largest right there. It's an amazing sign right here. I think we're gonna get some dinner. Not only is there a stagecoach on the roof, but you actually enter the restaurant through a stagecoach. Stagecoach! All right, this place looks pretty cool. Each booth has its own personal set of horns. It's up here, Blackjack Ketchum's wanted poster, and it says down here that he's the only man to have his head removed by a rope. <laughs> Any fact checking on that? All right, and I'm going with the ball of meat, and Adam is eating a tiny little salad. You know there's more vitamin C inside a piece of broccoli than there is an orange? Look it up, Google it. Yeah, Adam was just reading that over there. That says that this guy, uh, Marshall Ben Thompson, before he became a cop, murdered 32 people. So basically he was a serial killer that became a cop. This is just a wall of unpleasant things to read. Nothing like eating a steak next to a mural full of pictures of dead bodies. These are all executed outlaws. So another day of our journey on Route 66 is winding to an end. I appreciate all the support and positive comments I've been seeing. Um, if you like these videos, please consider um, checking out the t-shirt shop, see if you like anything in there. If you uh, donate $3 on Patreon, I will send you a postcard once a month. But for now, and tonight, this one's in the bag. We're gonna keep on trucking.